Hi, I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In today's segment, we're going to talk about stretching an inch and three quarter hose line to whether it be a commercial structure or a residential structure. Some departments use the traditional Minuteman load, but other departments do not. They basically just fold the hose and put it back on the apparatus the way they got it. It's a flat load. I'm going to show you a little trick today on how to stretch that hose almost as if it was like a Minuteman load, like a modified Minuteman load. If you look right here, I dropped a six foot hook on the ground to give you an idea as to the length of the hose. Doesn't matter what fire apparatus you have, the cross lays from side to side on a pump panel are traditionally between six and six and a half feet, give or take. I'm not gonna bring a micrometer with me or a ruler or anything like that and try to figure out and give you an exact inch. It's roughly between six and six and a half feet. With that, it tells me that I can grab the nozzle and the first three folds. That will give me the first 50 feet of uninterrupted hose. So when we grab that and we start to walk, we get to our entry point, the nozzleman and the officer are confident that they have the nozzle and the first 50 feet to stretch into this building. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the first line. The company that's gonna stretch the first line, we're gonna go in through a garage door into the basement area. Sometimes this is the path of least resistance to access our fire area instead of going through the entire house to get to that room. So this company now with their officer is gonna stretch this line into a building. Okay, as you can see, what we have is we have a straight line of hose with the nozzle at the door inside. Out here we have a lot of hose that's flaked all over the place. This line must be stretched deep into this building because why? That's where our fire is. They need to get themselves in there. All houses are different sizes, different shapes and sizes, just like we are. We need to get this line deep into there. 50 feet is gonna get us far in there, but if you look at the line right now, the first 50 feet, our coupling is outside. This company's gonna to have to work harder, not smarter, to get that line into the building. We just saw the first line stretched, now we're gonna stretch our red line into the building, same exact door. The firefighter is gonna grab the nozzle and the first three folds. He's gonna throw it over his shoulder. They're gonna to start to go. Good, stop. Okay, put the hose down on the ground. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a close up now. We have the red line that's got the first 50 feet of hose that's right at the door. And then we have the yellow line that the first 50 feet is stretched straight out across the room. Okay, you've just seen us stretch two inch and three quarter lines into this building. The yellow line was stretched in a straight line. The officer and the two firefighters are gonna have to stretch now into the building to, to attack the fire. What's gonna end up happening is these three guys have gotta to have to muscle this hose to get themselves inside to attack this place. Whereas now when we look at the red line, these three firefighters, they got the nozzle and they have the first coupling with them. That's 50 feet of uninterrupted hose line. When the officer gives the command to the backup firefighter, he's gonna flake this one bit out. So when they wet the line, it doesn't get those kinks in it. Because I know people are gonna probably look at this and go, you know, you're gonna get a kink in this line. Very simple, guys. Take this first fold, you throw it backwards. The control guy makes sure that the kinks are out and you still have the first 50 feet of uninterrupted hose to attack this fire. Okay, what you just saw in this training minutes video is stretching a hand line off of an apparatus and how we could work smarter, not harder, getting that line to the front door or to anywhere else in that structure. What you have to keep in the back of your mind is where are your setbacks? We are in, you guys are probably saying, where are these guys? It looks like they're out in the middle of the woods. Really not, we're in New Jersey. I know everybody looks at New Jersey and thinks of you know crazy buildings and so forth, but we are in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. 
It might look like it's a log cabin because we're set far off the street. This engine is in the driveway right now. A lot of times in Franklin Lakes, they need to drive up the driveway to attack the fire. That's their only way of getting enough hose up the driveway. Sometimes because of cars in the driveway, they can't get up there. So they need to stretch their hose 150, 200 feet from the street just to get to the front door. And that's not even talking about getting in the building. So maybe think about this stretch might help you if you're in a department such as this town where you have to stretch that far. You grab that first three lengths with the nozzle, should give you the first 50 feet at the front door. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Joe Alvarez.